Edward J. Emerson, and it is July of 1932. And we're taking a look at the publicly traded companies. With doing this, we can see how the companies we own are performing. Our stock portfolio is as follows. Edward J. Emerson, $9.97. We're down 1.121%. Chrysler is at $3.61, down 7.748%. Dodge, $1.74, up 6.264%. Jeep, $2.53 down 5.310 ram a dollar 69 cents up 2.963 century 21 dollars in at 79 cents down 2.886 detroit br motors a dollar and nine cents down 6.22 eclipse micro four dollars and 97 cents down 4.264 emerson eco $26.61 down 3.255 General Motors $1.32 down 4.361 Grand $2.38 down 3.938901 $19.54 up point one five three Detroit Enterprise fourteen dollars and seventy nine cents up point seven zero. Many of the companies in our stock portfolio are very competitive. We have been keeping an eye on Chrysler since it is the newest of our stock family. Chrysler has been spreading their market presence since we provided bailout funds to the Chrysler Corporation, which also includes Jeep, Dodge, and Ram. We also owned Plymouth and Ego, but we sold those companies. We have partnered with Chrysler in the minivan market. Our version of the vehicle will not be sold in the United States. Since we did the initial version of the minivan, it did not sell very well for us, so we discontinued it. Dodge has been investing into many markets. They have a greater sales margin with their Dodge Quiet Touring Car, Dodge Marlingor Sedan, and Dodge Eurlius Luxury Sedan. As with Chrysler, we chose to partner with Dodge in the station wagon market. Ram has been the focus of many companies in the past couple of years. They too have a broad focus and we partnered with them to build an updated version of their Ram Inverland pickup truck. Jeep is currently the highest earning company out of Chrysler's bailout. We have not partnered with Jeep on any projects as of today. One of the other companies Eclipse Micro has slipped in the Detroit market, which they held the number one spot with the most sale in the sedan market. Concerning is that our presence has risen at almost the same rate as theirs has decreased. Detroit BR Motors operates globally. We recently partnered with them on a compact SUV project, which gave each of us an advantage in the market. The first year of sales, BR Motors was the highest selling compact SUV company worldwide. This was due to the aggressive design approach they took. Now with owning majority of the stock of a particular company, you are able to take advantage of the designs and you have the ability to adjust the dividends of that company. Even though this is possible, they are still competing in some of the same markets as Edward J. Emerson.